Hello, welcome to Shareability Uganda. Today we shall be looking at soil, importances of soil, our properties of soil, components of soil, our different types of soil, etc. Uh, soil is a continuous layer that covers the earth's surface or a medium or a medium in which plants grow and get water and mineral salts. There are two forms in which soil is created or there are two conditions under which soil is formed. First one is by weathering and by decomposition of organic matter. Weathering is the physical and chemical breakdown of rocks into small particles to form soil and then decomposition is the rotting of dead ma organic matter. Types of soil include clay soil, loam soil, sand soil. Uh, clay soil has fine particles. Its, the, its particles are closely packed. It does not water to it does not allow water to pass through it very fast and has a higher water retention capacity. A clay soil has the highest rate of capillarity. Its importance include it's good for pottery work, good for making bricks, and good for making tiles for roofing. Uh, in the diagram below, we have an illustration of clay soil particles. Uh, loam soil is a mixture of clay soil and organic matter. Organic matter consists of decayed plants and animal matter. Loam soil is usually uh, loam soil usually has adequate water, air and humus to sustain plant growth. Loam soil loam soil's particles are fairly arranged, it contains both clay and sand particles. It has a lot of humus for plant growth and has a fairly larger air spaces as compared to clay soil. Importance of loam soil, it is good for crop growing. Uh, an illustration of particles of loam soil. Loam soil contains a lot of humus. It contains balanced particles of sand and clay. That's why it's good for plant growth. Sand soil, its arrangement, the particles are loosely, uh, they are loosely packed or they are not closely packed just as the other types of soils has large particles that make it be well aerated water passes through it easily has poor water retention capacity has higher water drainage easy to dig has a poor rate of capillarity uh, capillarity is the take up of water through the soil particles capillarity or it is the uh, it is the tendency of water to rise through small narrow spaces then drainage is the capacity of the soil to allow water to pass through it Importance of sand soil, it is used for building, used for making glass and sandpapers. It is not good for crop growing because it has low water holding capacity. Components of the soil, so all things that make up the soil. We have air, water, humus, rock particles, living organisms such as bacteria, insects, earthworms and etc. Importance of components of soil, like air, is used by animals in the animal soil. It is used by animals in the soil for respiration. Air is used during germination. Water is used by plants for germination and is used by plants for making starch. Promoting decay of matter is also a job by water. Then rock particles provide space for water, sorry for air to occupy. Humus, which is the dead or uh, decomposed organic materials and, uh, and animals animals and plants, provide plant nutrients, improve soil fertility, makes the soil appear dark in color. Then living organisms which include moles, porcupines, earthworms and ants. Bacteria like nitrogen fixing bacteria help fix nitrogen in the soil and helps improve its fertility. Earthworms help air the soil, softens the soil, add soil fertility by breaking down dead plants and and more remains. Properties of soil, it has air, has water, contains mineral, salts. The soil profile is the arrangement or the vertical arrangement of soil layers. Areas where one can clearly see soil profile in trenches, pit latrines, among others. An illustration of the layers of the soil, we have humus at the top, top soil, followed by subsoil and then parent material and then lastly the bedrock. Importances of the topmost layer contains most of the 
nutrients for plant growth soil structure or oh, sorry soil texture these are the different sizes of soil particles in an area and then soil structure is the way soil particles are grouped or arranged thank you for watching thank you for supporting shareability